From being passed over by big name schools, CJ Chatham set out to make a name for himself. The 21 year old 6 foot 4 shortstop chose to attend FAU as a freshman because it was the only university that believed he could continue to play shortstop despite his tall and slim stature. In his three years as the starting shortstop for the Owls, Chatham earned numerous awards. During his sophomore year, he hit 335, had 44 runs batted in, and led the conference with 22 doubles. He was also named First Team All-Conference USA. He really proved himself to scouts in his junior year. He was 19th in the nation with 89 hits, had 50 RBI, batted 357 on the season, and had the most memorable at-bat of his baseball career. It was like the Ninth inning, we, we, we had a pretty good lead against Charlotte this past my junior year. And uh, there was two outs, bottom of the ninth. You know, I was four for five that day. I was having a good day. I was like, you know, I'm going to end it on that. I'm on deck. Christian's up, my roommate. And I'm like, hey, you know, I told him before because there was a pitching change. I was like, hey, man, like, you know, I don't want you to get out, but if you get out, I won't be, I was like, I won't be upset. And he's like, he's like, man, come on. And I was like, all right, all right. So he goes up there and he walks. And when, he, when he's throwing the bat back to me, I kind of gave him a look, you know, like, come on. And, and, and he starts, he just smiled at me all the way to first. And the first pitch of the at bat, um, he threw me a change up and I hit it off the, the hitter's eye in center for a grand slam. Ball gone, CJ Chatham, grand slam. Puts and that honestly was probably my favorite at bat. With above average numbers, Chatham was awarded with first team all conference USA, conference USA defensive player of the year, and even conference USA player of the year. On June 10th of 2016, his three years of hard work as an owl really paid off. Tatum was drafted by the Boston Red Sox in the second round, pick 51 overall. FAU baseball head coach John McCormack reflected on his three years of coaching the young shortstop. It was a pleasure to coach CJ for three years. Uh, the progress he made over those three years was remarkable. Um, he had a calming influence on the team last year. Um, he's, he's one of the rare guys that he made everybody feel, once he was in the dugout and playing the game, he made everybody feel everything was going to be okay. He was going to get the big hit. He was going to make the play. Um, and he got drafted in the second round, well-deserved. I thought it was a little late uh, for his skill set. Chatham began his pro ball career on the Boston Red Sox rookie ball team, but was quickly moved up to their low A affiliate. He learned a lot about the difference between playing collegiate baseball and professional baseball. It's just a lot of people think, you know, when you go to the minor leagues, it's you, you've made it, you know, but it's, it's, it's tough. There's so many people that want to get to the, the major leagues that it's not, you know, there's, and there's only a, there's a certain budget, so they don't just hand everything to you. It's like you got your long bus rides, you're not flying places. and. It's, it's a grind that you really, you really got to love the game and, you know, take it seriously to get to, you know, where you want to be. There's no, you know, weekends off in the fall. It's a grind every day and, and, and the pitching, you know, it's tougher. It's guys from all around the country and even outside the country you're facing against. And it's, it's an adjustment that, you know, I'm still trying to get used to. And who will be his first call when he makes it to the show? It has to be my parents. But then I have to say Coach Mack would be, a, you know, close, close second. He'd be, he'd be the next guy I call after, um, after my parents. What do you think his reaction would be like? Well, I could see him just being like, oh, like, I'm not surprised. Like, I told you you're going to make it. And, like, that's just, like, kind of how, that's what, that's what I love about him. You know, he's always been positive, telling me, like, you're going to make it. Just keep working hard, keep working hard. So I don't think he'd be surprised. I just think he'd be happy for me, and he'd, he'd look for the next flight out. With Owl TV Sports, I'm Claudia Faust.